to Mountain Blade Warband. This is part four of my ongoing series. Um, when you last watched, we just checked in with the Guildmaster to get our reward for saving his friend's daughter. Uh, we're gonna head over to. Well, we. I want to fight a little bit. I want. I want to get my soldiers. Um, I want. I want to upgrade them. So we're gonna get them more experience by finding some bandits. I might have to drop off a few recruits because I'm throw I'm I'm scaring away too many looters and and little crappy soldiers. But I'm I might head up to the Sea Raiders and see if I can find any of them because they are um you get a lot more experience for fighting them. And we obviously do need up oh, there's a there's a group right there. I think I think we can take on eleven. Today the gods there. are Yeah, they're they're ruthless. The, their armor is clearly better than ours. We have a bunch of recruits, but uh if I if I can take out a few of them chance. I'm gonna I'm gonna have everyone follow me. I'm not gonna stay on the horse because whoops, no, I'm trying to do it. I'm not going to stand horse because I want to be with my soldiers on foot because, uh, like I said, I don't want any dying, which is very difficult to do, especially against Sea Raiders. We can check our map, and we're, we're closing in pretty fast. Um, yeah, so you can tell. Oops, put up my weapon again. Yeah, so you can tell that they're better soldiers just by looking at them. Here we go. There's one, we got a ton more. Ranged. There's one, and let's see if we can get one more. Should probably kill him. Oh, he looks like he's gonna get away. And yeah, yeah. oh no! Wow, that was a snipe. That was a hell of a snipe right there. Wow, and I thought I was bad with crossbows. I'm even better with a bow. But uh, so, so we can hire them. I'm not gonna hire them because they are they are the crappiest of soldiers. So there we go. We got. Five, five crossbowmen. We got one train footman. I'm gonna move them up because the higher they are, the the more. Uh, if you are, hang on. Yeah, see, so look how much our weekly cost just raised and our money. Uh, the higher up you have them, the more. If you like, say we went to another lair, uh, the first soldiers you have come with you. So, um, tribesmen and recruits. Okay, so yeah, we just upgraded a ton of soldiers and. Came away with some great armor. Uh, yeah, so now, now we should really be hitting the uh, the bigger armies. This this has 440 compared to that, which is awesome. I'm gonna take the other one just in case. Like I said, we get another uh, follower. That's a one-handed fighting axe, and it does 28. What does this do? 29. I'm not going to do that, but that pretty much looks, you know, how much do we get? One good loot. Uh, so there's more. More upgrade, actually. Another trained footman. More recruits. Another footman. Uh, okay, so we now we have a pretty respectable army. Uh, I mean, it's not it's not the greatest, but it's, it's getting there. We lost. We did lose one soldier, but... Uh, that's that's not too bad. We're gonna have to Wurcheg. Actually, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna go to. Actually, no, Wurcheg's right. We're gonna have to Wurcheg, which I I think is the most prestigious of the Nord cities, because I want to first of all sell the stuff I did get, and oh, there's a tournament. Uh, tournaments are always good, but I want to trade this stuff in. Um. I'm going to save the, this for, for my follower I'm going to get, and the shield. And we come away with 130 more. Uh, I'm going to visit the tavern. 
Let's see who we got. Rolf. I, I, I like Rolf, but he's a strange character. I don't, actually, I'm, I don't even know if I like Rolf because he's really strange. You, you can't ever really tell. I don't know why I'm pulling my sword out here. You can't tell if he's if he's good or not because he says he says that he is is from noble birth, but you get into arguments and and he's apparently not. Um. I was gonna go to the ransom hooker, but I don't have any uh, prisoners. I want to do the tournament because you can get a decent amount of money. But now you know what I'll do. They're they're boring, but we need the dinars. Um, in their fight, yeah. Okay. I don't like when you have to use a lance in the fight so because it's just not that difficult. But I should be able to get through this pretty easily. Actually, I don't know, with all these men, with all these outlaws, actually I might lose in the first round. Okay, we're going to back away. Okay, we're going to try and get out of this lava, and... Ooh, wow, that was, that was a really close fight. Almost out of there. I'm going to bet 100 more. Go ahead. Uh, hopefully my health reaches. I'm not sure if it does. Yeah, okay, it does. Most of it. So we're going to go right now and do some of that. Oh! Okay, I'm going to go right now and do some of that. Oh! I'm taking it out. sure how I got into the next round, but I was knocked unconscious or whatever in the other one. But it looks like there's only two on two here, which is easier than this. But it is easier this way. There we go. Zarina, thank you very much. And I am betting every time because I do want 3,000 dinars on the last... Uh, this isn't fair, why does he have a horse? But uh, you can get up to 3,000, it's arena. You can get up to 3,000 dinars for all the bets you need. I'm pretty sure, ah, oh, she just did it. Yeah, I don't know why Zarina's on a separate team now, but he was on my side. Sword Sister, he was a higher blade, that's all. But uh... Okay, so I'm going to make 3800 30, if I win this one. And this should be pretty easy. Pretty, yeah, very easy. Um, yeah, let's go. 3800 plus, we made 4000 uh, dinar there. So I'm going to buy a bow. Actually, I can't even use a bow. <laughs> that was pretty stupid. I can't even use one because I never upgraded. I'm going to buy this axe though because that is a pretty sweet axe. Uh, but I never upgraded my um, power draw which you need to to equip the bow. Equipped. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so we fought. We just won that. I do need boots but we can wait for that. Um, I'm going to walk around the what time it is. Okay, it's time. We can still find the guild master and let's check out our war axe. Look at that. That is a nice one. 
Okay, we're gonna put that away then. Um, we're gonna find the guildmaster, find our next quest. Um, I think that's him right there. Usually the man just standing there is the <laughs> is the guildmaster. So we're gonna talk. Yep, that's him. So here we go. Um, you have another job. We heard one day ago, travelers attacked by leaders. We'd like you to track these leaders down. The merchant in the town were able to get a description of their leader and put together a bounty. If you can hunt them down and destroy them, we will make it worth your while. I, I will do it. So that is where we're going to end this episode. But thank you guys for watching. Um, really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you tune in for the next one. Uh, if you really like this series, could you please subscribe and like it? If you didn't like it, leave a comment. Tell me why. Dislike it. I understand. Uh, make sure you check in. I will see you guys later.